here we are. I've just seen the clearer over there. Same bloke I see a lot. And a woman, a different woman, but I've seen her before. She's there going around picking stuff up. He's over there somewhere. They're doing it all the time. He's over there. Somebody getting too close for comfort. We better move over. Move over. We'll bypass it. Very muddy down there, so I'm going to go over this way. And you can also see the stones, the ramparts. From over here. They're in front. over there somewhere. Starts in the ramparts. There's a new path, see? All this has been cleared this year. I used to be able to walk here, anyone? You could never walk here. There's the back of that tree there, that. With the, um, canker on it. Yeah, all well, this has been cleared, look. Oh, yeah. You've never used to be able to see any of this. This is people working by hand. A few people. He's up there, he's just taking his coat off, he's working along this bit. And all this has been cleared, raked, scraped. Um, exposing this rampart here. Like I said, in many ways it's good to see the archaeology. Good to see, and the trees can always grow back or something else. Um, yeah, he's up there. Bloke up there. He spotted me anyway. But you never used to be able to see any of this, see? I wonder if they find any treasure when they're up here. This is probably a grain pit that's surfaced. And I bet if they find anything, they ain't going to share it, are they? Some of this hasn't been scraped or raked or seen for years. There's a perfect little round formation there, but that could have been the historians. Because there is some sort of debate between the historians and the archaeologists. They are very close together, really, in their feelings about stuff. But this looks like a very defined build-up of stones, but it doesn't mean it was anything to do with the Neolithics or the Iron Age, exactly. But this is new. I'd never been out of walk. 
I did it the other week coming from the other way. But uh, quite often I walk over there where the sea is. But this is a completely different experience. This is January the 22nd, 2021. Unbelievable clearing has taken place in the, well, in a couple of months. Uh, while well, the winter months have been here. Um, I don't think they're going to be able to cut the trees down this year though. Because there's, then the birds will be nesting very soon. The birds will be nesting. The weather's drawing in. Like I said, it's going to rain by about three. So I've I've done quite well. I've had a good walk. I'm actually doing my walk in reverse now. I mean, this man as a clearer will be famous one day. See that? There he is. He's got his bag. There he is, throwing stuff. He's what you call a clearer. He's up here a lot. See, he's pulling on the vines. He's put his coat on there. Yeah, so he's up there. He's only one. I've only seen one and a woman wandering about doing some gathering. She doesn't seem to be doing a lot. But this, I mean, I quite like being able to walk here. It is, it is nice. It is exposing the archaeology. I ain't dead against it. I just don't see why they can't just leave the trees alone. I know some trees aren't going to be cut down. I know. They said that. But cutting their vines, you see, what happens is um, there's the sea over there. I should come up against the steps in a minute. should think very soon we we'll just go and take video just over here and then I'll have to take some pictures because the steps are just down there the steps are very close now near that red door look I'll be going down over there but like I said all this has been done um, all this has been done over the past couple of months the winter months raking scraping clearing over and out.